they say that art imitates life. But wouldn't it be wonderful if life imitated art? In art, nothing is impossible. Colors can clash in soaring harmony. Lines can be anything they want to be. The small can become the large, and the large become the small. The coarse and the soft can be woven in tapestries of strength and beauty. The asymmetrical can define symmetry. In art, every shape is sensual. Every note has promise. Every texture, valuable. In art, everything belongs. At CIR's Etc. Art Studio, art is not merely a form of expression, nor is it just a means of recreation or therapy. At the Etc. Art Studio, art is life. I'm Trey's great-grandmother. His mother was 14 when she had him. And right after he was born, I went to court and got custody of him. And I've had him ever since. He's more like me than any of my children or my grandchildren. He's very quiet, and he loves to draw, and he is constantly drawing. He gets up every Wednesday looking forward to coming to CIR. It has helped him develop as an artist, and he wants to be an artist. So it has really given him a lot of uh, professional uh, information, uh, experience, and right now this is his life. Andrew has really been an inspiration to him. Andrew is kind of just like taking him under his wing and he's a mentor and he respects Andrew very much. They're always talking about Trey and his work. Andrew is, come and see what Trey did today. You know, so and it makes me feel good that he's even involved. He is a very nice young man and this just has added to his personality. So to see that develop is gratifying. And there is one particular individual by the name of Laura who is a long time participant at CIR and I'll put her on a project along with other participants and uh, they will be assigned to do certain levels so that we, we start with the foundation of course and then move up to the final product and the next session will happen and Laura will come in with almost the finished product. <laughs> so, so she has gained that confidence and now she does it. She absolutely just moves forward with it, which is precisely what we want. A few months ago, she was going to be away from the studio for a while and I knew that I would miss her and I knew that she would miss being here. And so I sent her home with some, some supplies and I said, Laura, I'm not giving you an assignment, I'm just giving you some supplies with which to create a piece of art. And uh, um, what she created is really what CIR is all about. Laura is very, very intuitive, she's very deep, and she creates beautiful art. I've known Laura for many years, long before CIR even incorporated. Um, my family has known Laura, and she has just been this silent, quiet individual that absorbs and takes everything in. The impression you would get if you met Laura is that it was a very unhappy individual, someone that was just very isolated and just not real happy with life in general. And what I have seen now with her is is just a whole new person. She smiles now, and you can just see it, and there's that, that confidence and that feeling of not being judged by anyone being here at the studio, and I see that in Laura each and every day as I see that in others, but particularly in, in Laura is her smile is, is absolutely priceless to those of us that have known Laura for many, many years. She's a phenomenal woman. 
Community inclusive recreation when we incorporated in 1994 was always of the mindset and the philosophy that we are all inclusive. The core mission of our organization is to be all inclusive and to allow opportunities and choices and in the community and for our participants. And the, the Etc. Art Studio ties in nicely with that because when we've evaluated individuals or we've done assessments, arts has been in the top three that individuals has wanted to do. So the Etc. Art Studio is tying into that, and teaching leadership skills, um, enhancing um, individuals' opportunities within the community and within uh, the agency. You, you see individuals coming here because they want to come here and coming here because uh, they feel good in this space. And then, and then we take those abilities, each of their own abilities, and, and hone them to something that is just beyond perhaps their dreams, their, their visions of what they possibly can do. I think most people want to be a productive member of society and sometimes they may not get the opportunity or know how to create the opportunity for themselves. Once you give them a road map and prop them up a little bit, um, you know, the sky is kind of the limit and they could go out and get jobs elsewhere or again be self-sufficient or supplement their own income. The entrepreneurial piece of what we're doing here at the Etc. Art Studio is teaching skills from everything from business, how to write a business plan, to how to market um, your product, to identifying that there's a need for the product that we're producing out of here, first and foremost. And participants are learning every aspect of that. We're talking about individuals that may not necessarily have had job skill training in the past, that now they're experiencing that with something that they're truly passionate about. It's been wonderful to see. It's more than just having products to sell and, and to produce out of the studio. It's so much more than that. What we're doing is we're, we're individuals are gaining self-confidence and more importantly, they're feeling valued as citizens of our community. When one comes into this studio, they quickly realize that it's at a professional level. Uh, and that's for adults and for children. And, and they need to know that, that yes, there are rules here, of course. Art is a business, but also it's great fun. They really get into the art, they really get into the paints and, and mediums and interact with one another, which is growing new friendships for them. The one thing I can guarantee you're going to get when you walk through the door is you're going to get acceptance, you're going to get encouragement, you're going to have a good time, you're going to make new friends, and you're going to learn how to do foam core. <laughs> <laughs> What's really of importance with the Etc. Art Studio is that we're changing the mindset of individuals that have been in here. And you can just see that people, their perception and their, their mindset is starting to change about, you know, we could include people and why are we doing that more? And you know, maybe we take a look at how we're outreaching to individuals and with what we're doing. What we're doing here is working, and it's working well, and there's no reason why it shouldn't be working in every aspect of our community and every program throughout our community. And it, it's, it needs to take place, and it needs to happen for us to have a completely inclusive community. Every day that I come in this art studio, there's a new story of someone learning something or pushing outside the box as far as uh, what they're able to do or create or be involved in every day in the studio is a is a different outcome and a triumph for somebody.